All right, this is the gray brain or the colorful brain, whichever one you want to call it. Um, we come up closer, you see that any one of these folds going up is a generic gyrus. Any of these folds going down would be a generic sulcus. So gyrus, 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 sulcus, sulcus, sulcus. The gyrus is the mountains, the sulcus is the valley. Um, from here we have the longitudinal fissure separating the two hemispheres of the cerebrum. We have in back, this is the transverse fissure separating the cerebrum from the cerebellum. <coughs> Here is the lateral sulcus on the sides, on the lateral side, lateral sulcus. And then this here is the central sulcus. Central sulcus is the border between the frontal lobe and parietal lobe. Central sulcus also has the precentral gyrus here and the post-central gyrus here. From here we got the lobes, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and the back is the occipital lobe. And then, if we open this up, take this piece off. Right in this area here is the insula. So the fifth lobe of the cerebrum is the insula. It is found in here. That's the only time I would point here is for the insula. All right, from there we can look at a mid-sagittal view of the brain. So again, this is all cerebrum. This structure here is corpus callosum, septum pellucidum. This is the fornix. Uh, we also have here, all of this is the diencephalon. Diencephalon has three parts. Diencephalon has the epithalamus, which begins with the pineal gland. The thalamus, which in this dot here is the intrathalamic adhesion. The hypothalamus, with the mammillary body hanging off of it. Right here is the optic chiasm. Um, if we look over in this view, that little pink lump hanging off the hypothalamus is the pituitary gland. From here we go to this structure. This structure here is the brain stem. The brain stem has three parts. This middle area here is the midbrain, which includes the superior colliculus and the inferior colliculus. This area here is the pons. And this area is the med uh, medullary uh, sorry, medulla oblongata. So this is the abdulla, medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata has on this other side this little bump here called the olive. Oh look, it's green on this model. This again is the cerebellum. The little white tissue within it is called the arbor vitae. Then we have spaces within the brain. So behind septum pellucidum is this space here, which is the uh, lateral ventricle. You can also see this lump of brain matter here. That's the cauda, cauda, sorry, give me a second. It is the caudate nucleus. So this pinkish structure here, that is the caudate nucleus. And the space surrounding it, that is the lateral ventricle. Again, the lateral ventricle is behind septum pellucidum. Uh, there is the interthalamic foramen, that little bitty hole here that connects the lateral ventricles. And there's a right and left lateral ventricles to the third ventricle. Only one third ventricle connects via the uh, aqueduct of the midbrain to the fourth ventricle which then connects to the central canal of the spinal cord. So again right or left lateral ventricles connect via the interthalamic foramen to the, sorry, the inter ventricular foramen to the third ventricle, which then leads by, via the mid, uh, aqueduct of the midbrain to the fourth ventricle. Then we have the nerves. So here is the olfactory bulb. That's the olfactory track. This stump here is the optic nerve. The optic nerve then goes to the optic chiasm, which is right next to the hypothalamus. 
then if we look on this sorry if we look on this side coming out from right under the mammillary body right there is the oculomotor nerve from here we have focus this is the trochlear nerve right here this is the trigeminal nerve right here is the abducens nerve the facial nerve the vestibulocochlear nerve below that is the glossopharyngeal nerve below that is the vagus nerve below that is the accessory nerve then over here, next to the olive, is the hypoglossal nerve. So again, 12 nerves. Nerve 1 is the olfactory bulb and olfactory track. Nerve 2, get back in focus, is the optic nerve leading to the optic chiasm. On the other side here, the oculomotor nerve right under the trochlear nerve trigeminal nerve, abducens nerve, facial nerve, uh, vestibulocochlear nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus nerve, <clears throat> accessory nerve, and hypoglossal nerve.